Would you like to know how I get 100% hatch rates in my incubator? There's a few things that help, but there's one secret thing that I do that really makes a difference. I start by using a really good incubator. I use the Mana Pro Nurture Right 360 incubator and it works really well. It holds 22 eggs. I have not had good success with larger incubators. I like hatching in small batches and that seems to help. Also, it's imperative that you have a good fertility rate. So my two roosters do a wonderful job of making sure that my hens are bred often and have a high fertility rate. Most times when I go to incubate eggs, I have 100% fertility. Occasionally I'll have one egg that is not fertile. But now, for my secret on how I get my 100% hatch rates. I use a heating pad. Hear me out. Your incubator instructions may be like mine, maybe not, but mine says that the incubator should be kept in a room that is consistently between 74 to 80 degrees and that the temperature should not drop below 72 degrees. I don't know about you, but my house, I mean, we keep it at like 67 degrees in here, so the way that I make sure that my incubator stays nice and cozy warm without temperature fluctuations is by placing a heating pad underneath the incubator for the entire incubation and hatching process. Ta-da! Here is my secret. The heating pad is underneath my incubator. I've got it set to medium and guess what? these eggs in here look at all these eggs i've got 23 eggs in here see this little extra egg up here that doesn't even have a spot all of these eggs are not only fertilized but they have a bouncing baby chick inside of there and these eggs are set to hatch in three days look at these beautiful eggs like this is working fabulous A wicked awesome farm Watch this channel to learn what to do We love to farm and we'll show you Yeah Welcome to our show Whoa. Just one more Story Farm I'm so impressed with how these two work together This incubator with this heating pad It's just wonderful <laughs> So I strongly suggest that you get yourself this duo if you plan on hatching some chicky babies. I'll have them linked down below in the description. Now, don't get me wrong, this incubator has no problem getting to temp and holding that temp, but it has to work much, much harder to maintain that temperature. So the heating pad really takes the strain off of the incubator and keeps things nice and even. You will notice that you will go through more distilled water with the heating pad under the incubator. I just make sure that I'm filling it up typically once a day during the first 18 days and then during lockdown I'll have to fill it typically twice a day depending on the fluctuating humidity levels. So that's it. That's my secret. So hopefully you'll be able to get your own heating pad and be able to get some really great hatches with your incubator. If you'd like to try this heating pad, check out the link below in my description. I'll make sure it's linked there. I got mine from Amazon, but just so you know, if you do order from Amazon, it is an affiliate link. If you're interested in hatching chicks, I've got some great videos about hatching chicks in your incubator, how to set up your incubator, my incubator recommendations, brooder setups, chick houses, lots and lots of videos. So be sure to check those out. Like and subscribe.